Want to know what happened in Harlem last season? Keep watching. Discussing TV shows and films that made you click play. Stay tuned. After the whole wedding dress fiasco, the girls make up, and I really love seeing them talking it out like girlfriends should, and in a way, they hurt each other, and I think that's where a lot of friendships fail, because even if you talk it out, sometimes people can be so self-centered that they can't hear the other person's feelings, and they did a good job of listening to one another in this scene. Totally not a top moment, but... um. Um, yeah, this play get out. Nah. <laughs> Here, Professor go again with the shit. She pretty much humiliates and isolates Camille in a way that was a bit too much for me. But, it, you know, it gave the same character. I think this is where I see tough love coming in because I think she does low-key like Camille. But doesn't want her to think, you know, Ivy League is easy and her cute smile and looks is not enough to get to the next level. And I think that she's kind of judging or prejudging her because of that. Because other than, you know, obviously her being a little nervous when she speaks to the professor... Why is the professor already like guns a blazing with her? It it seems like there's some like underlying, I don't know, maybe a little jealousy going on. Just what is that about? Ty passes out again for the second time. Uh, she was profiled both racially and sexually when she passed out originally and she just can't seem to catch a break she's so busy and now we get to the real issue a ruptured ovarian and if you think this does not happen in the real world it definitely does and often when people of color are profiled well, welcome to adulthood angie Though she is really put in a bad position because she wants to keep her spot, she has to apologize and swallow some humble pie when she really could have gone straight off in that moment and it actually would have been warranted. That's growth for Angelie, uh, especially being that if it were me, I definitely would have went off based on the racism that was going on in this play we see a peek at Quinn's history and why her mom is often so hard on her. Uh, it's like her mom resents her for not listening to the advice she gave all those years ago. Uh, she views Quinn as a disappointment as evident by how loving she was prior versus her disdain for her daughter right now. She's been giving Diva the whole show and until the apology, there hadn't been much change in her behavior and we can kind of see a little karma at play because she needs to eat a little humble pie. Um, All her mouth has now got her in trouble and no one likes her song and she's basically getting put out and cut from her label. And so this is just a little history and background and you kind of see why this translates into her being a little more humble in the previous scene when she was dealing with the racism. Hi, is Mary. Y'all didn't tell nobody. <laughs> so, no, for real, who saw that coming? Because I sure did not. To find out this whole other life I had was crazy, but it kind of also makes sense. Not everyone jumped straight out the closet and the way she reinvented herself. I think that took courage, but she never got divorced. So here lies the problem. This scene, Camille relives her biggest regret, but I'm torn with this one. Should she regret it or did she possibly need this? On one hand, I get it. I get why she wanted to make sure she didn't lose herself. Uh, but at the same time, I didn't get the picture that he was controlling or didn't want her to have what she wanted. In relationships, you compromise and you sacrifice. She already had the fairy tale, I think, and a good man going for her. Something that, you know, is kind of hard to find, let's be real. And she could teach anywhere. It wasn't like it was an acting gig or, um, you know, a job where she couldn't work in another state. And as far as her leaving her friends, if they're her friends, they still be her friends, right? So I also think she could have gave it a go and at least gave it a try. So it's 
uh, I'm kind of torn. What's your stance? Do you think that this is a regret or did she need for this to happen? Hey, just real quick here. I hate to compare again, but this walk down the block, come on. Sex in the city all the way. But here's the thing. I'm not mad because black shows have been copied by others and done well because of it. So why not? I mean, we all get inspired by somebody. Hey, this scene was funny. How the robber going to compliment Camille while he trying to rob her? <laughs> And this, of course, sparked some alone time between Camille and Ian. And you could see the chemistry and the heat rising up yet again with them in this kitchen. Our girl lets Quinn have it. Our confused little Quinn. Because now she is wanting to have sex with a woman. And Ty is like, no. And she's, of course, she's already upset about her husband coming back into the scene. And she pretty much goes off on Quinn. And for the final big moment, Will Ian and Camille end up together. Them admitting their feelings and taking it there. Will it keep him from marrying old girl? I don't know. But I'm ready for season two tomorrow stay tuned as i will definitely be updating you weekly as episodes drop